Avenge me! You got it. Can you handle this? Oh, look at that! 340 HP, 270 damage, 2 energies, ain't she a beauty? One point, and I'm dead. I'm gonna touch it. Easy girl, down, down. B stats, you know this card has some way to make its claim to flame. Here's a look at the deck list, it's also in the description. I will say that during the matches, I change draw Pokemon a lot. So you may see Rotoms, Bebero, it depends. Now in order for this card to be worth it, it has to take two prize cards. Yeah, I can do that. The trick is, it creates extra value if it sticks around for another turn. And with that HP, it's gonna stick around for another turn. Here's the best way he can create extra value. But you gotta look at this penalty. The more damage he's taken, the more less damage he does. And that's a good penalty for that two energy attack there. So here's how to get around it. All you gotta do is just Cheryl. Cheryl heals up him completely, and he only needs two energies to attack again. Luckily, Armoro can pass those two energies onto Skeledurge, and it's gonna take another KO. Probably taking four prizes down before it goes down. Ooh. After Skeledurge is wounded, he will be delighted that you take him home. And even though he's wounded on the bench, you can heal him up later, and he's always a threat to your opponent. So much they have to waste a boss order to finish him off, because they couldn't get him the first time around. And that's value. Or you can just leave him to die. Not really. He's actually buying you time, because your opponent needs to finish this off to take two prize cards while you set up another Pokemon. And that's value. Now, Skeldurge is your main dish. But then Tay is your appetizer. It's a basic Pokemon that can attack for two energies and can do up to 220 damage if all the benches are filled. It also can squeeze you an extra card draw up front, making a good way to lead up for Skeldurge. Now we could throw in Radiant Charizard again, but because we have somebody stalling for time and someone to move energies, I want to do Radiant Heatran. He does more damage the more damage he's taken, and there's a nice stadium that can boost up his damage. Obviously, this is very easy to boss order, but it is burning their boss order for one prize card. And that's gonna leave Skeleturge very healthy and happy. The only Pokemon left now are Drow Pokemon, and Dalton's gonna change that every match. Also, you know your fire deck, right? You know what deck is free and actually good right now? Mm -hmm. I mean, you have the damage to beat that. It's just they have an easier step to you. So, mm. first match is against Chien Pao. There's no way we would ever run into a Chien Pao deck. Next, we'll play Raikou. Really fast deck versus really slow deck. Mm. Arctina is still in season after placing first about a month ago and is still taking top eight because it's still good. And since most of you don't watch the last match, I'm gonna put the one where I get turned into a crybaby because things happen. Okay. And you're coming back in two days. Here's a teaser. Paralyzing Bolt. I'm gonna paralyze you. Would you like to discard energies? Yes. Discarding energies allows me to attach. No, let, let's this thing take it to KO. Check out my covers on Spotify. And you can use them too, whenever you like. Please like the video and subscribe if you haven't. Because having Donald in your day makes your life more vibrant. Thank you very much for visiting me today. We'll begin the matches after this match, bro. Hello and welcome to the very first match of this video. Yeah, we're going against. Chimpao is a free deck, it is a good deck, and everybody has it, so you're gonna have to play against it, and the only bad thing that's bad about this is your Skeledurge is gonna get one shot at because of weakness damage, so you cannot take advantage of its big HP, and you just have to take advantage of its big giant damage. Okay, so now let's focus back on the match, let's see what's going on here. Warman, damn. There is two Frigibanks and his turn one. This is his first turn. He's filled up his bench completely. Which is good for me because, uh... Wait a minute, why didn't you play that last nest ball? I'm kind of curious. You don't even see my Entei right here. But, that, uh, basically, if I, even if I boss one of his Frigibanks, I can't, can't stop his combo. So, 
Yeah, 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 and he also went first too, so don't stop complaining. Let's see what you do here. I played Squawk ability, and then I got, you know, Entei's the only thing that can put some damage up, and he might fill up his bench. Please do that so I can get a one-shot kill as a retaliation, but I will be behind in prize cards at the start of the match, so, mm, yeah. And Donald, why didn't you play the energy right there? You see that stadium? Yeah, this makes sure as I can attack. However, look at that. I got lucky. I got rare candy. I got skill dredge. Yeah, yeah. But in sex case, now I did this in reverse order. I really should put the damage on Entei. Because, I mean, we got water. It doesn't matter. And reducing the damage on Fue Coco's side doesn't matter. I Actually, you know what? There's a there's a Palkia V star coming. And I might. I should have really put the belt. I mean, I still have enough damage to take out Palkia V star, luckily. But. We should have reversed that. That would have been better. So we had full 300 damage. But yeah, we, we, we need damage. We need the big damage to take out the guys. So let's see what's, let's focus on what's going on here. So he's got here the Backscalibur combo is ready. Shard dead. Would have normally eaten two prize cards away from a Chi and Pound, but we await this damage. So yeah, that sucks. So he only needs to discard one energy instead of wasting two, which would have been preferable because we want to make him pay his resources. Alrighty then, and, uh, well, this is it. Chip Pal is pretty simple to play and very, very good too. Yeah, okay, and now he's gonna go ahead and just, oh uh, yeah, I'm putting that energy in that Cordenja. You wanna go for my Shard and my Fuet Coco? He could have, right? If he had enough to energies to retreat, he could have taken a double KO. But I, I think, think he had enough to retreat right here, so that was very good, because if we last, lost that, that was that. He didn't build up his bench base, so we don't take damage from K. Uh, we don't have anything else here, so we're gonna have to go ahead and go for skill dirge to take the KO. I don't see Palkia, so we can go ahead and go that. Okay. I look at my hand, I see Crocolore, that sucked. I see Radiant Heat Train. Let's go ahead and get that baby up. Yeah, who gets the energy here? Now, the energy should go. I think I already used it, or did? Yeah, I did use it on skill dirge. I was like, <laughs> I almost forgot. I almost like, I can't do it. Oops. I already put it there. All right, and we take out that and one, two, but ours is a stage two. It's way more expensive than just dropping it down and getting a one shot KO here. Alrighty then. Chip out comes up and it's like, I got you, baby. I don't care about your 340 HP. Normally, this would be making, this would very much matter in another fight, but this time, no, I'm gonna go down with one shot. All right, kill there. It's your last, your last. You, know, you did your job. You got two prize cards, so that I'm happy with that there. Alrighty then. And Luminium's actually gonna come out. What does Luminium get? He has to show me it's Marnie. What the far bitch? Marnie can come out and charge up Luminium. What the? Alright, I'm thinking there's Palkia somewhere here, because Palkia can do it too. But super energy retrieval, he's definitely gonna have energies to fight. And that's gonna be like four energies cards, I think. No, Donald once made a mistake. You know what? If you discard water energies. With that card, you actually cannot get four back. I think a lot of people know that. I've been damp. He got four energies there. He discards a quick stuff. There are gonna be energies around. Uh, once, right now, he actually can't use Greninja. I'm looking at Greninja. Luckily, Bidoof is completely resistant all the way around. It's the whole entire evolution here. Alrighty then. So another cheap belt. He is gonna fill up his bench. I'm not sure. He wasn't looking at Entei. I guess Entei, this doesn't come into consideration easily. Or maybe he's expecting me to... Uh, I don't know, that could be a thing too. That could be, that was fast. This guy, this guy knows his deck. He knows how to play, man. So he's gonna blow us up. Uh, let me see, that's uh, three energies. Yep, just three energy cards. You don't abuse that weakness. I know I got weakness, Water Beast Fire, man. 3, 4 HP, I don't care about any of that stuff you said in the end show, Donald. It don't matter. And this was where I was like, okay, if I can drop down a bench Pokemon, like with an Ultra Ball right there, I can KO it. But this is where I'm I'm an idiot and I use, Bo well, I'm going to use Boss Order onto his Luminion. And I should not do this because Luminion can be KO'd by a lot of stuff. But I am going to do it anyways. I decided to go for my draw master instead of filling up my bench here. So this is kind of a... Well, it's not, not, not too bad because I'm... I'm Now the Iolans me. I'm not going to be in trouble here. But I did choose to go for Luminium. I choose to go backwards. I don't want anything back. 
Hey, I want boss back. I want no. I want Iono. We gotta shrink his hand. He don't have. Well, he's got Greninja, but it's not that great of a draw. But we still got more cards. We do it in order. You do this, you get two cards, and then you end tape for two cards. Now, now I can fill up my bench. Yeah, we ain't getting it up. We'll put it up. And that's easy for Greninja to kill. So this is not easy for Greninja to kill. And it helps me because we're at the final hour now. We don't need to save bench space. Did I forget my draw? <laughs> All right, we got switches. We got boss in hand. We're going to blow this up, which we could have just went straight for Jim Pal. Then we would have knocked his energies out of into this card, but we did not. I did not. Yeah, yeah. Maybe I should have just straight killed off the Jim Pal. That might have been a better play. That's what past Donald knows about. It's hindsight's 20 20, right? Yeah, I heard that. I know that. Greninja gonna come out, but Greninja, I mean, this guy should know he can't kill Badoo, I think, and he does, he does know he can't kill Badoo. However, if he sends out a big, you know, two prizer, he can't win the game, so this is very smart. If he takes one prize, and then if I take one prize, he can actually beat me, so this guy, he, he knows he's shenanic, man. That's why he's only taking a prize. Give me up a single prizer. So I have to do the same. No matter what, Radiant Heatran has to come out. Otherwise, if I trade off a two prizer, then I'm, uh, I'm screwed here. So there goes Shardad. Now I'm like, now I'm wondering if I really should try to get enough White Coco up. But Entei and uh, Radiant Heatran is here. And he hits the Hidden Heatran. Thank you. Thank you. That is okay. So. He does not, he's not putting another bench base up, so I cannot pull out Chin Pao and kill it here. But you guys already know what's up here. I already know it. I think I throw down the Heatran. It has 130 damage on it. We are gonna bench it 910 damage here. And we just take that final two prize cards because we have boss order. Boss order wins you the game. Alright, GG. That was an exciting first match against our water weakness. All right, now we got more meta decks to come. Mm. Okay. Chin Pao. Okay. All right, guys, I gotta say, Chin Pao has defeated me quite a bit. You know, I, I, I'm just not feeling, you know, very, very good about this matchup. Anyways, let's go. I'm gonna play my cover. This is gonna be Morning's theme from Pokemon Sword and Shield. I want to say Scarlet Violet, but you tricked me. <laughs> you tricked me. Okay, uh, Fue Coco, Shardet. Yeah, we we don't want to give them. We have to do this. We have to do this. Look, we have no energies whatsoever. Both of my bosses. Well, there goes there goes that. See, I both need... You know what? Let's go for Perloin. Because I, I feel it in an Entei somewhere around here. Let's go for Perloin. We need some draws in the bit game here. That's not good. That's not good. We might be two prize cards down because of this here. Okay. You know what? I'm going to switch my Shardet in. And we're gonna charge up the card that needs this, which is Heatran. Uh, okay, so that, that that's that. Alternatively, Fue Coco could have got the energy too if I was feeling lucky, and I could have got the rare candy. Uh, it, it was a t it, it's a tough decision here. Yeah, either Fue Coco or one of you guys could have got it. So this year, this is a sitting duck. She's waiting to be bossed off and killed because I don't have a uh, I don't have. What's that card that lets you switch card from this card? The guy named Thornton. There we go. Thornton. Da -da -da. Yeah, take that turn one KO. Da -da -da -da. Is there a chance that I could attack? Like, technically, yes. Oh, we could not attack. Okay, we're definitely going to throw this down. And a card that might... Nobody needs a choice belt here. Let me see. Your 80, your damage is... Nobody really needs a choice belt. That's okay. We we don't lose a prize. We were supposed to lose a prize this turn for him retreating here. And then we may lose two prizes and be behind too. So let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Shenanig. I just got nothing with his hand. Okay. 
But Fleco has a chance of attacking it, though. No, I just still don't have any energies. Son of a birch! I got nothing. And then I gave him a big hand. I was like, I'm supposed to get something down for that, but nope, I don't know. Da -da -da. Da -da 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 -da. Reggie, lucky. Okay, my hand was bad. And now let's see if this becomes better hand. Yes, yes, this is a better hand. Because now I can, let me see, I can discharge energy. I can take a KO down. All right, this card takes a KO though. I can rare candy. I can use this to grab rare candy and I can ultra ball. I can ultra ball my stuff in here. Okay. Poor Shara, that you did a good job, buddy. You took a you took a hit for me, and I needed you to take a hit for me. What well, Coco? Let's go. We got. <laughs> hey, gosh, Roy Hot came back to me. I only have one. Okay, first of all, we have to discard. We don't need Magma Basin, but technically we should do Magma Basin. Because I'll be stuck if I don't got nothing here. I'm sorry, Magma Basin. I mean, I needed to charge this up, but... It's just how it is. I'm gonna lose my draw supporter, right? Yeah. Yeah, I have to get that into discard. And this will get me Raihan. I'm sorry, this will allow me to Raihan. I need this card anyways. Now I can Raihan. Now I can Rare Candy. Rare Candy, there it is. By the way, anything crazy that we need? Okay, everything looks okay here. Alrighty then. Okay, and this allows us to move that energy over to the other side. We hit done here. We're gonna do Burning Voice for 300 freaking damage. <laughs> that is very, very, very high. Alrighty then. And I'll still be... I'll still be in battle, so now I have the lead here. If he goes for Squawk Billy, that's okay. At this point, Squawk Billy without Lewis is the game just yet. I had to give up my stadium. I have two stadiums left. That's okay. He's got a lot of cards in his hand. So I think we'll I don't know and just risk it here. Because I... I yeah, yeah, yeah. What we'll goes to the bench here? We'll see. We'll see. Yeah, once he attacks me, I'm kind of out of commission here. I would like to bring another Skeletor up, but then he still has three prize cards. Squawkabilly. Yeah, Squawkabilly. We need a artisan, but still cost supporter. Not artisan, a supporter. Uh, Thornton, Thornton. Yeah, you got a lot of cards in your hand. I have to shrink that. Well, he only get three less cards in his hand, so it's not that great. Still, 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 we'll see. And he can't attack me for another turn. Wow, decision, decision. There's be a Magnus, though. We also have... We also have an Entei that can attack here. I can retreat and then move Entei and then do some damage here. But if I retreat, I have to retreat with my card here. So that, well, we'll see, we'll see, we'll see. Yeah, I own it will give me so few cards. I think we'll just go with research here. We're gonna go with research. But I'm not, that's not feeling good that he that pressed that. He, I, I think that was an electric generator. I think. If it was not electric generator, then we might... I don't know that. Okay, let's see what's up here. Yeah, giving me just four cards is kind of bad. And then giving him five cards to return is whatever. He can't attack me next turn. I'm still alive. 
I can take a KO, I can get a retreat into Entei. And seven cards is just way better than four cards. Three extra cards here. Alright. We don't have any bench space. Let's go ahead and grab this out here. Actually, I need energy in the discard. Son of a birch. I can only do 220 damage. Let's put the energy over here, though. I can move the energy up. Retreat and lose all my energies. That's not good. Alright. I will do the thing that does the most damage here. Vitality Song. Alright, you take three prize cards, and Tay should follow up and take another a bunch of prize cards here. And see, staying in battle is good. Staying in battle is good here. You know what? I think I really should have Ultra Ball these here and use that for thinning. Still, still. Let me see. Uh, I only got this. A lot of idols got destroyed here. And Boss Order got destroyed, so. We're gonna need a Pal Pad, and I think a lot of my draws. Three Boss. Yeah, my draws are bad now. Thank you, thank you, thank you. All of this stuff. All of this card. I only get a two card pull, one from draw and one from whatever I pull here. Let's see how he does this. He can't attack me, he needs more energies. That electric generator failed. There's only one electric generator left. Alright, like, might as well let that tank something. Makes sense. Okay, let's see if we can get a switch here, man. Okay. Thinning. Yep, that's completely useless to me now. Might as well thin that. Might as well thin that. Come on, retreat. Son of a birch. I healed myself, so now I can do a way... Uh, I can do this. This is... Yeah, yeah, now I'm bricked. I'm bricked, man. I'm bricked, guys. I still have two draw supporters. Two research, one researcher and two Ionos. Let me just do, just do this so you can see it easier. Two Ionos. Alrighty then. He takes two prize. I take the prize here. And then we're okay. We're okay. Big man goes down. Let me see. Let me see. I can actually get another Foy Coco up. Nope. Nope. They're on the discard. That's it. Alrighty then. So we want to thin some more trash out before we pull with any of these things here. There's a good old I all know. Okay. Let's get this thing and thin our deck here because we want to not pull trash. This is... Okay, that's good. This is trash. This is good. Because we still have more of those here. We'll toss this in here. I'm gonna Iono. You have no draw supporters. Draw all Pokemons like I do. But you do have Squawk... You, I do have Squawk ability here. Okay. Now I thin and I can use my draws here. Hey, thin the trash out of your deck. Perfect. Okay, now we only have 150 damage on this, which kind of sucks, but that's okay. We can wait another turn. That's good here. Alrighty then. I can do Fleet of Foot. I'm out eight cards. Rare candy. That's trash. Let's go and do Burning Rondo and take that KO. Alrighty then. We need two more prizes to win here. And let me see that 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 one card. <laughs> there's there's no more uh, there's no more boss orders. They both were at the start of my hand and they got destroyed. So it, this is still a great match no matter what. We can take the two prize cards here. I play an energy. I use my stadium, no matter what, and then discard it, and we're good here. Yeah, this came out. 
I, I, I thought the Raikou came out. I was like, no, this thing has energy, Donald. So I need some draws here. Yeah, let's see what that top deck. Nothing. It needs an energy. I can still retreat, though. I can still retreat to something. But I need two more prize cards. This is 280. Oh, this has been weakened up enough. Yeah, because I hit it, and then he had to run away. So... Radiant Heatran might take the win here. Still, this does enough to take. He has to... Uh, yeah. I don't... I think... Okay. Maybe Armor Rouge could have done something. Okay, okay. He, he got stuck. Alright, so in that case, we do Magma Basin. Alrighty then. And that's 280 damage. Actually, I didn't need to do that. I didn't need to do that. All I just had to do was just play an energy to retreat. He should have picked something heavier. And then we do 280, and then that's that. There we go, Radiant Heatran. Yeah, you don't need a choice belt like Charizard, and you can KO everything there. So, wow, wow, wow. That was, that was, what a fight, what a fight. Good game, good game. Chin Pao, <laughs> you tricked me right there. You had me a little scared. Good game, good game. Welcome to another. What am I playing? I'm playing Skeletor. Yes, this is a Skeletor match against Giratina Arceus. Now, this was a former first place deck. Uh, it was very strong in the past. And it is strong right now. I don't know how well it is in placing in the meta. Because new cards have come in. Maybe it's adapted. Maybe it's good. But it was former first place. So, but uh, this is, he did get a bad for turn one. So I got lucky there. And my turn one is, well, we'll see. We'll see. We'll see. First, I nest ball. And then Donald, you're not playing any cover. I don't hear any music. Let's go ahead and play something else. Let's play. This is the Peace and Love from Steven Universe. And Donald played everything. He, I didn't want to Ultra Ball all some of those nice stuff there. So we are just going to Iono, and this will unbrick him for sure. I know, I know it does unbrick him. And I'm going to throw down another Fue Coco. This is Skeletor's deck. I don't think that one's going to live up front there. And then here's where I was like, ah, I could get the Squawk ability, but I don't need the Squawk ability. I can rather get Rotom. And Rotom can give me three more cards and give me a different turn one bonus. Yeah, I chose to do that, and I didn't mention Radiant Charizard. I don't want to see him just yet. I also made it be the last bench race for something, but we'll see here. We will see. Okay. Let's see what he does here. Oh, there is there is a Lumber Master, but he has a full hand, but let's see what he can trick. And what is that? I looked at it and was like, oh, Safeguard, it's the new Mill Tank. It is immunity against EX and V Pokemons, which includes Skill Dirge. I'm thinking, how do I get rid of it? It's like, ah, oh, there we go. I was like, okay. Yeah, we do enough damage. Uh, no, we don't, but when we evolve, but we do enough damage. So we have a solution. We're not blocked by that. We're good. We're safe. We don't need to do any adjustments here. And now, I know it's a Psychic Energy. I know it's Giratina, Giratina V-Star, and it will show up later in the match. But here we go. RC is coming out. But, who gets the first hit? Do I come out and get the Entei? I only have two switches in the deck. And the reason that I only have two switches in the deck is because uh, that deck space is very precious. And unfortunately, my Pokemons have very heavy retreats here. Okay, let's see what he does. He's got that DTE. Alrighty then. So Donald, what's Donald going to do here? Donald wants to keep his hand here. That's a lot of cards in his hand. And let me see. I'm looking through. I've already got a shard that I... Got plenty of energy cards. I think I'll keep the super rod here. Because once... You only got one super rod, and that's my only way to recycle cards if I need them in the late match. So, I, okay. Those two I got spares. That shower that dies, I can recycle with super rod. Okay, so... What are we going to do? We're going to get a Fue Coco up. I'm sorry. We're going to evolve the Fue Coco and get a Croc of the... Croca. Croclora. My Entei is good to go at this point. Let's throw down Charizard. I'm like, uh, you get the Choice Belt. And that is a big decision that I made. Bigger than I expected, because I only got one Choice Belt. Either Charizard or uh, my, my, my Crocodile can take a KO on Arceus. So I, for some reason, I chose the Radiant Charizard. All right, and now, somehow on my turn one, I have a very, very good setup here. But I just don't have any retreat right now. I should throw down the basin and use that energy there, but I forgot about that. 
Or I didn't need that at the moment. Oh yeah, I know, I didn't forget. I'm like, if I throw down the basin, he could pass it to peek me. Which... Might happen. Okay! And I also got Lost Vacuum as well, so let's see what he does. He's got RCS! And right now, he wants to retreat that barrel right there. Look, I, I don't know what you're thinking, I'm not a mind reader, but if I was playing on the other side, I would like to retreat Lumber Master so I can keep that draw power here. And yep, got an energy. Right to switch or escape real quick and take the first prize here. And let's see, he takes that big four card draw. What else? He got a choice belt. Choice belt don't. Actually, choice belt works against. Choice belt doesn't help some KO the Rotom. And that's what I'm kind of afraid of right now, that he tries to pressure out the Rotom. Rotom. But, you know, you gotta charge something up with RC's V Star, so that is gonna take something here. I think he, he used the V. Though he actually had a switch on hand. So he will take the first prize and take the uh, prize advantage here. Okay, now we see Giratina. And another Giratina, because one ain't just enough, and we're gonna see Professor's research come through. Alright, he unbricked himself, he definitely was a bad start, but my start, I didn't have any retreats. I couldn't find my retreat, so I couldn't take advantage of the situation there. So he is the one who takes the first prize, and now he's winning. He's winning by one. And we have nothing that can one-shot Arceus. Technically Charizard can KO him, but I don't have four energies to get him up here. He has a Charizard is a five energy cost. Now that one prize costs four, but I don't got four energies. Well, technically, yeah. If I draw one more energy, I can do it. I can get one from Magma Basin, and then that's enough to take the three prize trade here. But I have to draw another energy, and I didn't do the math for that. But instead, I decided to send Entei. I need more draws here, and I could. He's got eight cards in it, so we're gonna have to IO that. And look, Charizard could have got a KO here, but Donald, Donald, Donald's tired. Donald wasn't thinking. Donald well, didn't risk it there. Do Donald was actually did not paying attention, but this Donald knew that he could actually take a KO. But four energies is a lot to lose because Charizard dies afterwards and you're in trouble here. So instead, we're gonna do this here and we're gonna go ahead and I don't know wait. Look, he got so many cards there. We're gonna shrink him down to a four. And although he can draw one back through the five, five, five. Alrighty then, now we got Skeledurge up, and I'm gonna use my Stadium, I'm gonna charge up, not Skeledurge, because it reduces his damage, so we're gonna do Armorage instead. And oh, warm up damn, look at that, four stone seal, okay! Uh, I played energies, you've done it already, it's like, should I get another Skeledurge? That means I should throw the Foy Coco down, but that three of them, okay! Or two of them, two of them, there we go. We got one more card draw here. And it's gonna be rare candy. Oh, I see that rare candy. But I just, I mean, it just came down this turn. I can't evolve it just yet. But we're gonna attack it and down it goes. Now, I, I removed this choice belt. And I, I did that for thinning, but choice belt doesn't actually help him take a KO here. Luckily, Entei is just a big, beefy, beefy dog, cat. It looks like a furry animal. Dog, there's a difference between dogs and cats, man. I think that would be a cat. The Suicune, the dog? Anyways. Alright, I'm thinking that'd be a Giratina here. Giratina can one-shot Entei, can also one-shot Roto. So he has a one-shot kill on this turn right here. He can go in and take a three prize advantage over me. And in that case, we would have to swing swing back and close it with Radiant Charizard right here. So this is what I think if I was the other player, I would retreat. I would attack with Giratina and take that three prize card advantage. Because anytime you can take the prize card advantage, they're limited by turns, man. Take it when you can. Usually that's almost always the best move. But he bounces back to the peak, I mean, and it puts Bath down, so I can't draw, and Radiant Charizard does not work anymore. So I'm like, oh, Shinotic. Radiant Charizard is offline. Well, it's 
not offline. I just have to pay five energy to do it because it is a Rubox Pokemon and shut off there. And he just, let's see, will you retreat and take that free prize lead over me? He does not. He does not. He gives me a turn to do that. And the reason he's doing that is he can also get more energies on the Giratina here. He also does not boss the Rotom too, so that, uh, he didn't, yeah. So, no prize lead is being taken right here. Okay, we know that though. And th those look like the two remaining entries in the left, or he has some in his hand or somewhere. And let me see, we're pretty even on draws here. And I was like, no, I can't draw. Okay, so now let's put energy down. Energies are kind of rare. I don't need to evolve Floyd Coco immediately. And we're going to take the two prize cards since he allowed, generously allowed me to take the prize lead at this point. Instead of. See, I told you, anytime you can take a prize lead, you might be wanting to do that. So now, let me see, I think if... If uh, that, that, that one little mouse over there came out, that would have been a pretty bad deal for me. What was that mouse? It's not, uh, technically it is a mouse, it's a dead mouse. Yeah, the dead mouse came over there. Damn, that sounds creepy, but it is a ghost, right? I mean, a ghost is a dead mouse. <laughs> okay. That's gotta let's, let's refer to something more cute and better than just a dead mouse. <laughs> you bring some bad luck to your to, to your man. And I'm gonna get judged away. So there we go. You missed your chance to evolve a Fuecoco. But it looks like Fuecoco and Crocolore just really want to evolve. And at this point, I got no draws. But my board is pretty established, so I can survive. And I also got the V Star down there too. Yeah, I, I wonder how the game would have been different if he chosen to, to one-shot Entei over than taking a two-shot. We were thinking about using the V-Star to bounce the Path of the Peak as well. If I had to, I would have done that. And then we're thinking that that's also a choice too. However, Donald, you don't need Radiant Charizard. You can wait till it's cheap. Attack with Scale and Urge instead. Perfect. Of course, Skill Dirge is gonna come out right now. And now he takes the Pride Lead back. Okay, and then I can get the Skill Dirge out. Or I can evolve it through a normal way. But here's what I do I'm gonna do some thinning. I don't need Nest Ball. I don't need Squawk Ability. I don't need Crocodile. We're just gonna go straight into another Skill Dirge. Oh, yeah. And this is where just our big stat advantage just comes into play here. It's like, should I thin? Donald, you should thin. Just thin, just thin. It's like, he can already grab Rotom. That's what I'm thinking. It's like, he can already grab Rotom. For some reason, I don't do it. Like maybe I need to bench something else. Like, Rotom is already there. Now it takes priority. And then we're going to go ahead and send that energy over to Skill Dirge. And Skill Dirge is going to show us its mean, big, giant stats. We're going to do Burning Voice. And now I take the prize card lead by one. And now victory is in sight as long as I can boss out, which, hey man, I got the V-Star right there. So that I can win right there. That's what I just go in my head right now. Tita comes out and is like, oh my gosh, what is this power creep? Two months ago, there was nothing called a skill dirge with 340 HP. I was like, well, let's just wait here. He needs to take three prize cards out to win, so... I'm not sure how, like, at, at this point, how does the Giratina beat me? One way that I think could have been a good play was if he took Giratina and he bossed out the Rotom. That would stop me from winning. That would be the best play on his part. He doesn't... Yeah, pretty much I'm stuck. Luckily I have Raihan to do something with that. And that would win him the game right here, if he could do that. If he could have bossed out the Rotom, and even if I... Well, then he might... He, he might have got a good chance of winning. I still would have uh, had Charizard and uh, Raihan. I also have to bounce the Stadium too. Yeah, all, doing all that may have not been possible. That's why he could have won the game there. He could have won, maybe, maybe, maybe. Wait a minute. Yeah, because I can't boss and run at the same time. Uh, but maybe it was, just wasn't available in hand. Now, I just had too many Arceus in hand. He's looking for boss, but it doesn't come through. So this is where he's like, hey man, Path of the Peak is out. Somehow, Poke Tools work. Even though it's a building, it's because it's from a Poketool, it still works anyway. So yeah, I can find boss. 
And I know Skill Dirge can one shot that. And there it is. There is my final two prize cards. And thank you for a Seal Stone. All right. Nice solid match there. Good game to you, buddy. All right. GG. Yeah, I'm going to tank my Skill Dirge. My rank score in Skill Dirge Day. Tank my Skill Dirge. What does that, that mean? I don't make no sense, Donald. Okay, let's go. I'm play my cover. This is going to be... Okay, we played that cover already. We're going to play... Okay, after this, I'm done, man. Whoa, 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 whoa. This is like late night. I was like, I'm done. I'm going to play Peace and Love from Steven Universe here. Oh, that's a bad hand. No basic Pokemon. So I was like, hey man, here, take a look at my cards. I am a Skillet Dirge deck. And I can see love on his side. But look at that. There. You do, bro, e ring. Sometimes only the owner can understand the name. That's all the time, Donald. I don't know what you're talking about. Did we send the Rotom up front? Rotom has actually an easy retreat. This is not. But he does get two prize cards, though. Yeah, I'll set the Rotom up. I still have a retreat here. He don't. Well, he knows what I have here. Oh, we know what this is. It's Radiant, Radiant, Radiant Wings. It's uh, United Wings. Okay. Okay, that, if he played that, he's definitely a squawk ability in his hand somehow. There's a squawk ability somewhere. Or it's in the prize. There we go. I know I built mine similar, but I didn't have... I don't know. Oh my gosh, Ralph. Everything, everything setting up straight nicely here. How was my hand? I go second without a draw supporter, right? Sounds correct. And these can be discard fodder if I pull Ultra Ball or something, so I'm gonna keep it right here. Still not gonna give me a draw supporter? Okay, well, I should stay stay around for it a few more turns, so we're good here, unless he kills us. I'm a damn man. That's not fair. You have to give me a draw supporter. Or Ultra Ball or Nest Ball that I could have had at the start there, but... Okay. I'm thinking I'm gonna have to forfeit. It's just sometimes... It's one one of those games you just don't got nothing to start. But we'll see. We're gonna sit here and watch here. Let me see. There are... Three wings are down there. And this player is also using a three curly line like I did, but I'm not using no dittos. I don't know how you fit all that stuff in there. Like it just works, man. Okay, he didn't get an energy card, which is... Let's just go ahead and evolve here. If this is killed off, then I'm in trouble here. Give me a supporter! Alrighty then, we're just gonna have to fight with those skeletons right off the... I still have not got a single supporter at all. Not a single supporter card. They don't give me any. And then this is benched off because I start with zero, zero, zero. Then that's that. That's life, man. Okay, we need shard that now soon. And there's no way to discard these energies, which sucks here. That's smooth, buttery smooth.
I think all my supporters are in my prize cards. That has to be it. That has to be it. He's at 16 cards. I'm still at 39. Uh, he's been hitting at least two. Per the Charizard is gonna get a priority here. What the hell is just is happening? Did he not find his energy cards? Okay, I guess we're both having a bad start. Skeledurge, you somehow are up, you group mud bray. What uh, what do we got here? You're gonna go down in a blaze of glory. All I think I can have is either Shardet or Entei. At least Entei can fight. I'd rather have another fighter. I don't know about Shardet. I mean, I need both. But this is the way it is, man. Here we go. Let's go. Let's go, Scale of Dirge. Let's do this. Somehow the other player did not set up here. And we got lucky in this case. I I'm going. Burning voice. Alrighty then. So, let me see. I don't... I think I can take two prizes out of Skeldurge. Okay, that's another Pokemon. That's good here. What can we do here? At some point, I'll be able to easily attack with the Charizard. Let me see. When is that, that that is? Not soon enough. That means he can do 240, which is pretty good here. We just need to do 70 damage, though. Uh, is, is he at how close is he? He needs... Okay, he still is quite not, not there yet. But he's getting there really fast. Very fast. He's almost there. He needs one, three more, three more, three more, three more. And now he can start fighting me. Somehow I got lucky and he couldn't attack me. So this is going to hurt for... I'll still... I mean, I'm still in the prize lead here. I don't know if I get a skill there, child. I still have not a single draw support in the game. And being able to heal here would be nice. But that's okay, I still have a prize lead. I have a... Uh, yeah. It won't be a prize lead anymore after this, Donald. If I can kill this, it'd be very good, though. You gonna give me a draw supporter Pokemon? At least you can attack. I re think I should play this, but I don't know for what, though. I have a Lost Vacuum, but I don't need it right now. You know what? I've got, I have spare Scale Urges. We don't need the Rod, and we don't need the Vacuum. Let's just go slowly under the Fuet Coco. Or a Shard that. If Shardet comes out, I can heal, but there's not enough Pokemon. I have zero draw supporters in this game, guys. Zero. Zero draw supporters. I can do 90. That's enough. That's enough to take a prize card here. Can you give Donald one draw supporter? Okay, so we have Scale of Dirge, Entei, Charizard. Entei can get killed one shot here, so that, that's gonna be very bad for my prizes. We really need something, 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 something. Like a draw supporter, Donald? Yeah. Yeah, I would like a draw supporter. See? Game, game completely killed me. Okay. Now I think they're all four of them. Okay, well, he's still missing two here. He's still missing two. Uh, maybe not. Maybe not. Okay. He needs, let's see, 340. Yeah, he needs all of them in there. Maybe this one in the prize card. He needs, it's still what two. Okay, that's another one. So he needs to do two more. Two more. We're counting. That's going on the bench, so they'll, Entei is not going down one shot. Uh, 
Alright, I'm gonna get more draws. This is good. I gotta show her that. I don't know where the hell it is my draw supporter is, but where my damn, come on. That's a draw supporter. I mean, that's a supporter. At least. You wanna just take the shortcut, Donald, and grab boss order? Instead of a rare candy? He's gonna think I'm uh, grabbing, grabbing, yeah, let's take the shortcut here at this point. Okay, let's go ahead and take this here. Alright, Charizard. If something happens, then whatever. Here we go, I got my first supporter, it was Raihan, which is great. Alrighty then, let's go ahead and do this right here, and let it be. An energy, cool. If I pull rare candy, this is going to be good here. Now, let me see. He might have some kind of damage bonus here. And then that will kill this. Uh, and bring the prize counts really badly. So then he can boss this out. Alright, you're out of cards. Maybe I really should have done... You know, he had a lot of draws here. I don't even have a freaking draw... I, mean, I do have a freaking draw Pokemon. Let me see. My damage here is 6. You know what? I have some pretty good damage right here. I can go only... eat. Yeah, well, this might get me. Let's see. Let me see. I can only can attack once. He's recycling his ditto, I think. So he needs 20 more damage. He's missing some damage here. Flamigo. Uh, it's ditto. Yeah, it's all in ditto time. Murkrow is here. Let me see what he has as a damage bonus. He might have a choice belt and an energy that will allow him to take a KO. That's very bad for me. If I stay alive, though, that's very good for me, though. Two prize, taking the two prize right there. To collapse, to throw out the boss. Okay, so we have to kill him with this now. To stay at the game here. Very, very well done. Now he took the lead. Ah, oh, man. Thank you for draw supporters. Thank you, draw supporters. Okay. So by doing this, I can still attack. I don't want to get one-shotted, and if this dies, I get one-shotted. Let's see what he does with this. We'll say we'll, so we'll risk the Entei. We'll risk the Entei for a draw supporter here. Good. That's what I need. I'm still lo I'm gonna still gonna lose though. Okay. Okay, let's get a draw here. Okay, let's go ahead and attack. Alrighty then, I might survive this. Because he's only at 220 damage, and I can run away. That's the plan. But I threw away an energy. I'm not gonna be able to run away then. Okay. Okay, that's the card I want to kill. Unless he has a way to take it the last two prizes right here. Okay. Alright, you got energy somewhere. Or DTE. Something, I don't know. He's got very few cards left here. We threw away our energy to retreat. I think that maybe that'll kill us here. Okay, you decked yourself out. You have decked yourself out. Maybe you can kill me with one shot. This is still kind of a good game. But I really could have got some draw supporters. One. Like, well, I got Raihan. But one Raihan over the rest of the entire game is bad. No, I won't shut up about that. I know. Okay, GG. And the last... He decked out. This is still a, kind of a good game. 
Uh, I will give you Shara Dead. Yeah, I'll give you Shara Dead. Hey. All right, you've decked yourself out. It's gonna be Ino, so you have not decked yourself out. So I have to boss this. And I have to boss this, but I don't have. I have no more bosses. I need an escape rope to win. Or I have some time. I still have some time here. Wait, he's decked out. He's decked out. He's decked out. Son of a beer, Birch. Okay, just so you can look at my deck. I just want to see what happens to my draw supporters here. Because I have never ever been so stuck on draw supporters in my life. Did I not put any draw supporters in? Four Ionos are still in the deck. Four Colrests. I did pull Raihan, Arvin. There was the four Steel Stone. I'm good night, guys. Good night. Well, this is my night. I'm, I'm done. Good, good. Donald, how good is the deck? I give it a three out of five. Which means you probably shouldn't try to do it in meta, but it's good enough that it can take wins against meta decks and definitely in casuals. So uh, it's very good because those numbers are great. The only problem is that the combo is kind of complex, which balances out and the setup is kind of slow. So I went against like new decks, meta decks, and uh, yeah, they, they, they were tough. I, I didn't think, think I went against any Muse. I might have to put Drape in if I really want to do that. But Skeledurge is all I have time for you for now. And I'm going to keep an eye on you because those numbers, they talk. You got something in you, but that's all I have for this weekend. All right, so that is that for now. Thank you, little girls and friends. Take it easy, stay safe. I'll see you in two days. I'm going to see you guys next time. Bye-bye.